like whatever you don't feel comfortable saying on camera, you don't have to say. Um, okay. So, all right. So basically, can I get you um, like uh, also just trying to be comfortable? Can I get you to say your name, what grade you're in, and what was your position in the mock car crash? Okay. I'm Eric Sulik. I'm a senior at St. John's High School, and in the mock car crash, I was the alleged victim that died at the scene of the crash. Um, what, um, all right, how can I word this, like, what were, like, some of, like, the preparations that, like, you guys did, like, in the class, maybe, or, like, you did on your own to kind of, like, get you guys, like, ready for this, like, what was the experience up to the day of the crash, and then maybe, <clears throat> words, well, like, what, what was going on in your mind, what was going on, and then, yeah. Leading up to the car crash... I didn't really have any like uh, set guidelines to go on. Like I never talked to the people that had quote unquote died before me, and so I didn't really have anything to go off of other than like the movie that we watched last year, and basically I had to uh, just mentally prepare myself on my own about like what I was what I was gonna go through what what kind of a hole I would leave in people's lives. Okay. Um, after the car crash, like, what, what kind of emotions, like, if you want to share, like, what, what, do you, what do you feel now? Like, do you hope that, like, people realize that, I mean, this, this is serious and this really could happen? Mm -hmm. um, I didn't tell anyone other than my parents because they, you know, they had to sign the forms. So I, I think that it was really a surprise to most everyone that, um, I, you know, my friends I hung out with, uh, people in the community that came and watched. So, and like not being there to interact with everyone that I normally would on a school day, that would just kind of be a, a little, like a shock to them. Like, whoa, this could actually happen. It could take away somebody like this from somebody else's life too. So, and I, hopefully they would realize that and make the right decisions. <clears throat> well, um, do you um do you feel that like what what's gone down today like that other schools should do it like I mean that like after this like do you feel more like towards where you want to kind of promote like safe driving and stuff like that like make better decisions? I do think that other schools in the area, even nationally, they could you could pull this off, but the administrators. And the teachers, they would have to look at what type of person would be able to do this. And would their students respond to it? Like, you know, if you just have a bunch of jokesters or people that don't care about it, then the message wouldn't really get through or have that, you know, that hard hit of a point. So that would basically be up to the people, you know, behind the scenes that would kind of run the show, like the students against the destructive decisions uh, leaders who you know adults so th they would probably have to make that decision but I highly suggest it all right can I um, can I just <clears throat> one more of that is what this whole experience has been for you and like just like one word like what what kind of like this experience was awful it's it's actually been pretty hard on me um, just not being able to one minute please hold on a second I don't know. I'll just start from yeah. I'll start from the beginning. Awful. It's it's actually been pretty hard on me. I wasn't. I don't think I was near, like mentally prepared, of what I should be. It's difficult not being able to talk to anyone that you see in the hallways anymore, or just like for us, we had to stay cooped up in a room all day long so that nobody could see us, and it just kind of it was just a grind trying to get through it all. But, like, if I have to go through that so that people will recognize, like, and get the message of it, then I think it's worth it. 